Happy Monday, everyone. Uh, I trust everybody had a good weekend. Hope you guys down in Texas are, are doing okay. I know that there's still some flooding going on down there. I don't know if you guys got more rain coming, but my thoughts and prayers are definitely with you guys down in South Texas. Um, today's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do three different success stories. You guys seem to like that. So these kind of blend with a marketing idea and ideas that you guys might use for niches and uh, some marketing ideas. So I thought these three were, we have a lot more as well, but I want to start uh, integrating some more success stories in with, um, uh, in with our videos. Wednesday, I'm going to probably do a demo on Wednesday on what we talked about on the LTS on Saturday, which by the way, thank you guys all for for tuning in on there either through YouTube or uh, if you were able to catch our, our Facebook live broadcast which we went for like over an hour straight with no uh, hiccups which is uh, unusual for us for the last few months but it went great uh, got great responses thanks so much everybody that tuned in and uh, we'll have uh, hopefully uh, we've got this stuff all lined out where our live training sessions every month should work uh, better for us so let's get into the first success story. What? Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my it make every cast count shirt. This is uh, has to do with uh, Justin Rackley. And um, if you haven't seen his, if you like fishing, you got to check out uh, LFG uh, Lake Fork guy. His fishing show is amazing and. He's selling these shirts uh, to help him with medical costs. He's got a, a brain tumor he has uh, named Willis. So <laughs> I, it's kind of a long story, but I watch him regularly. He's one of the collaborations that I did last year. Just a terrific guy, him and uh, his wife, Stephanie. And they're going through quite a bit right now, but great things are also happening because of this. So um, I'm going to put a link down below to makeeverycastcount.com. Um, if you want to support him, I think the shirt was 25 bucks. I love the design, just amazing. Um, and it's helping them with their medical costs and things that they've got to deal with. Uh, anyway, uh, Justin's a great guy. Him and Stephanie are amazing. So um, let's get into these stories here. So the first one is from Andy, my good friend Andy Earl down in Alabama. Um, he says, in relation to niches and uh, ideas for marketing, He's also given quite a bit of signs away. I'm just going to read what he wrote here. Um, a, good, a good majority of the time I receive orders from people seeing the free signs. Not to the degree of your success, but on a smaller basis. His work with law enforcement and motorcycle clubs, which is keeping me busy now. I consider a free sign here and there as advertisement expense to go so far that it has paid off for me. The charity stuff has gotten to a point where I can no longer give a free sign away every, to every charity that contacts me. Uh, my main charity is St. Jude's Hospital, and I'll always do this one. I now give them a discounted price as my donation to the char charity. This way it isn't costing me every time, um, which is a lot that can auction off and uh, make it pay off and make a profit. Sometimes it, it makes me feel bad, but for an average of two to three signs a week for charity was beginning to add up. I feel the free sign idea for certain groups and people uh, is a great idea. I look at it at the cost of doing business. I did one for the History Channel show, for a History Channel show, and received uh, several orders from that and other shows. Did one for a well-known band and received orders from that one to a motorcycle club and now at least get one or two a week from clubs all over one um free uh to law enforcement now swamped with orders these are still uh these i still have to give a discounted price uh to um anyway um he says giving signs away especially to charities and auctions work so let me show you some of you guys have seen andy has been uh sign carver of day uh, several times but here's some of his work he does uh, really, really nice stuff. I actually got the pleasure to meet Andy. He and Kim were traveling through this area out here, and we, uh, Vic and I went and uh, had lunch with them over at uh, the Cracker Barrel over in Kingman. So if you guys are ever out this way, let us know. Hit us up. 
and uh, we'll uh, we'll try and meet with you. But anyway, congratulations, Andy. I think that's a great idea, a, a marketing idea, not not just from marketing, but also to give back to give back to charities. But uh, the main thing is that people see your work and uh, orders uh, come in from that. So the second one I have is from Chris Johnson. I wanted to share a couple of Navy signs I recently made. It seems that I found a niche that has been giving. Uh, been keeping me busy for the last few weeks. I've sold five of these, once Navy, always Navy signs, and have a sixth one, the, one I'll be starting next week. The HC6 sign is the first of two that have been ordered. I've also got several other military signs of the same size, but different designs on the books that I'll be carving in the coming weeks. The majority of my business has come from Facebook military members sharing my work on their private mess military groups. Um, and then he goes into thinking us, but I don't have to get into that. Um, I started carving at the beginning of the year and have learned so much from you. I really appreciate the, uh, the videos. Uh, I didn't mean to read that. But anyway, thank you, Chris. I appreciate the kind words and you watching. But check out this guy's work, guys. Chris Johnson. Just amazing stuff. This guy's work is just beautiful. So he's kind of... Um, donating these in in some instances I but I think he's selling quite a bit but you can see the the work is just um, unbelievable just fantastic stuff Chris just beautiful so I think he's using the rounds from Home Depot and Lowe's he didn't mention it there but I think he told me in a separate email but just beautiful stuff congratulations Chris so I again there's another niche that I think is a uh, fantastic niche to go by, especially if you are uh, former military um, and can get into those military groups out there. I think it's a it's a fantastic niche to get into. All right, third and last but not least, from Cat and Rudy Molina, uh, terrific people. There's an online app called Offer Up on my cell phone that I have placed. Uh, my sign display on to get orders. So far I've got 10 orders in three days. 10 orders in three days. That's amazing. Um, and um, tell them it takes uh, a week to make. Uh, he, he, so he gets the orders and he tells them it takes a week to make them. When it's done they come and pick it up. I use mostly Redwood and the signs are going for about $25 right now so I can just kind of get started off and get my uh, my work out there. Most of them say, say their family name, a pattern, or a custom logo. Um, I've been doing uh, Western Inset. That's what's going for me right now. Um, thanks so much and have a blessed day. Anyway, so here's Kat and, uh, and Rudy's signs. So I think this is the ones that they're posting on that offer up. And I actually went on there and... Um, and checked them out uh, that offer up which I guess I don't know how many parts of the country I think it's just US but I really don't know but I know that there's uh, there's one here in the Kingman area I went and there's all kinds of stuff for sale on there so it's another online site and this and he's talking about this as an app on your uh, on your iPhone so that's another great place to sell it sounds like guys along with uh, uh, the places on Facebook the groups and stuff on Facebook so there's three success stories we've got. I know you've got a whole bunch on your desk. So we're gonna we're gonna share these from time to time. But here's three ideas for you guys that you guys might not have thought about as far as going after niches and marketing and getting your work out there. So um, these are the sign carvers of the day, by the way. So congratulations, you guys. Um, just wanted to share that with you. I think that uh, these success stories are valuable. And, um, you know, any one of these ideas can add to more sales for you and more exposure, getting more of your work out there. So um, let us know. If you guys have success stories, we absolutely want to hear them. Don't send them to me through Facebook. Send them to either Vicky's email, Vicky with Dave Signs at Gmail, or send them to me, Eric at MakerWoodSign.com, and we will absolutely put them in the, the stack of success stories. We love sharing this. And I want you guys' comments too. If you guys like this kind of thing, definitely let me know. If, if this isn't, you know, if this isn't what you guys want to see, then, you know, we'll just leave these by the wayside. Uh, but we're, again, I'll be doing a demo on Wednesday and then probably, and then another demo for sure on Friday. So, hope everybody has a great week. What? Steps on the website. What? Oh, yeah, these, these things. Uh, if you haven't seen the LTS yet, either on Facebook 
or on um, on YouTube. That was uh, I just I think it just posted like yesterday morning uh, on YouTube. These uh, these are now available on the website. There's eight different ones, uh, four quotes from two different movies. But go back and watch the LTS. You'll know what we're talking about. But they're now on the website. Um, how about the uh, template of the month? Uh, yeah, it's on there as well. So that's the little, uh, I don't have it here. Happy ha Family. Happy family. Um, so those are available now on the website. So if you have any questions, as always, don't send me a, f <laughs> a question through Facebook, please, because I don't know whether I'll get it. Send it directly to my, to my email. Um, I guess that's it. Everybody have a great week. We'll see you guys on Wednesday, and we'll be running the router and making some sawdust. Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye.